So how do we know that, that that's a problem? In the diet, here is the stomach Chinese association point on the bladder meridian at the end of the 18th rib, the last rib, and that's reactive as opposed to spleen, as opposed to heart, and so on. Both sides are reactive. Then the stomach sits osteopathically. We really go into the organ from the outside in. That stomach is sitting in this general area, so anywhere around that area is going to be inflamed if an organ's inflamed. So if I flinch that, that's very reactive. If you press on the ribs, they're tight, as opposed to nice and spongier here. You get used to palpating, that's nice and spongy. That's tight, that's irritated. She's being pretty good here. So what's really going on here is that esophagus coming through here is torsioning with the vagus nerve, not allowing proper digestive action and improper timing of the acid in the stomach. So the answer to this, among other things, is to clear that torsion there. So I'm going to come in. The other thing I wanted to show you is T12 will always be out with this. It's almost like they're anchored down. They cannot lift, cannot get light on the forehand. Very, very, very common. T12, right there, very out, very reactive to that way. It's, it'll be need to go to the right, being torsion. So, Jewel, here we go. I'm going to project down in here. All of us can learn how to do this. And see, she's feeling it. When you go in, you are treating, depending on the intensity. So I'm waiting to find that esophagus right there. There we go, Jill. She's going to move here a little. I'm going to put um, venous tension on this from the blood. Right there. There's some release. I can feel it way in there. That a girl. Here we go. A little bit more. So I have to let this cook a minute. That a girl. And she's wondering if she really wants to go along with this. I don't think it's a trust. It's just that it's intense. There's more. There, I felt a lot way underneath there. Let me check it one more time. Right there. There's a little bit left. This is actually bigger than this horse lets on. There, there, I don't know if you could see that vibration, but that really unloaded in there. If we had ultrasound there or some sort of diagnostic uh, radiograph from that, you would absolutely, in real time, you would have absolutely been able to see that. So now, T12 is part of this program. You can probably already see the back's wanting to lift right here now. That was a, definitely a ventral torsion. So T12, I'll need a left shape. It will not go chiropractically before this. Right now, just with osteopathic indirect, it's released. So I got the reason for the vertebra. That's the secret to doing them. And it wants to go, there it went. And it unloaded, probably a good quarter inch rotation to the right. Nice job. Okay, so let's reassess. Stomach Chinese point. I'll do it harder. Both sides clear. Stomach itself. Absolutely clear. Spongy ribs. T12 is on. That is the answer to probably one of the biggest causes of stomach ulcers.